The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, one thing we need to do today is remember all those that uh, lost their lives in Norm Normandy 75 years ago. If it weren't for them, we'd all be Specken sie Deutsch. But who knows? We'll have to see what happens the next time they have one of these big conflicts. Hate to see him. Anyway, we're looking at the German DAX here. Uh, it is going down a little bit today. We hit that 61% retracement, backed off uh, a little bit. If you want to take a look here at the FTSE, uh, you'll see pretty much uh, the same thing. Both of these markets are in downtrends. They're rallying a little bit, but uh, the big one, of course, is the S&P. It's been going up uh, quite a bit. There's a lot of resistance in the S&P, folks, uh, up around the uh, 28 uh, 41 area. I want to get this up here for you to take a look at it. Then I'm going to change the whole format here. Don't know how long this is going to take, but we're going to take a trip down memory lane once and for all. I want to talk about the uh, Elliott Wave stuff. I get emails every single day why I'm not an Elliott Wave person. I've said many times it's just a little too complicated for me, but basically uh, I first was introduced to Fibonacci numbers 1970 by my friend John Hill, 49 years ago, uh, editor of Futures Truth. He's been my friend all these years. Uh, he's the one that told me when I was living in Los Angeles, I was trading at uh, Clayton Commodities, uh, which was owned by uh, Roy Longstreet, and then it sold out to Conti Commodities. They moved across the street in 1968 to the McCulloch Oil Building, which is a brand new building at the corner of Wilshire and um, uh, West Westwood Boulevard, right by UCLA. And um, they had the whole top floor up there, and um, several market wizards traded out of there. Um, there, there was Mick Marcus, was who he lived in. Mike Marcus lived in uh, Malibu. Um, uh, who was the other one there? Oh, uh, Ed Sakota traded out of that office. Uh, Ricky the Rocket Barnes traded out of that office, and probably and Jeff Silverman's there for quite some time. So there was a lot of guys there that were were trading. Uh, other, just a lot of a lot of places. But right down the street from the uh, McCulloch Oil Building on the corner of Little Santa Monica Boulevard and Westwood was the Investment Center Bookstore. It was a uh, private bookstore. I also sold public books. It was very private. You had to get in with a security code. It was uh, very, because he had a lot of valuable books, but Don Mack owned it. And there were a couple of traders in there that worked out of that office. Uh, Jerry Bomring from USC, who was a pharmacist, was there. And he had a lot of great books. And John told me to go down and take a look at that place. And I did. And uh, it was not easy to make friends with these guys because they were very uptight about what stuff they were doing. But uh, I would bring in donuts and ba well, mostly bagels. I'd bring in bagels and cream cheese a couple days a week. And I uh, became friends with Don Mack. And one day I heard, overheard him saying, talking to his mother, his mother was a diabetic and she needed pork insulin. And it was very difficult to get. Well, I was working for Eli Lilly and I was uh, liaison between the medical department and the cephalosporin antibiotics. And so I called the medical department to Dr. Griffith, who I worked with on a daily basis, and I told him, I said, I'd like to get some uh, pork insulin for this person because uh, it would really be helpful. And he said, not a problem. And so what they did was they set up through the pharmacy there at uh, Cedar sinai Medical Center that uh, they gave her a lifetime supply of pork insulin for free. And he, he was really... Uh, he really uh, befriended me after that, so he was really uh, big in this. Well, he had the Gartley book, and the Gartley book, uh, Profits in the Stock Market, written in 1935, and uh, it was really a, a loose-leaf loose binder, folks. It wasn't a bound book. It was uh, 400 and some pages, uh, 450, something like that, and uh, – it was in a binder thing, and he was selling it. Uh, Gartley had died in 1969 at the age of 72. He was a very heavy smoker and really liked the ladies, much like um, 
Jesse Livermore. Uh, he died of cancer, but he didn't leave an estate or anything like that. He had an uh, ex-girlfriend uh, that was around, but there was really nothing there. Uh, and Don had bought the uh, the, uh, the the rights to the uh, to the Gartley book, and uh, he had given me uh, a copy. Uh, so I didn't know how good it was, and I was just you know just messing around with it but i after i lost all my money in 1974 i really dug into that book and that's what really changed everything i want to show you some of the things that that gartley was doing remember this is 1935 folks uh ralph elliott didn't start writing his papers till 1938 through about 1944 he died in 1948 and so he was only around a short period of time very little trading history about elliott uh what what Gartley did was he supplied all kinds of data. Here's one of the things that you'll see that uh, was part of the books. And the book is not only is it 400 and some pages, it also has about 50 large graphs. I'm talking graphs that are, uh, you know, 17 by 14, you know, very, very large graphs that uh, you have to be printed. You know, this is before we had, uh, you know, copying machines or anything like that. But these were the kind of things uh, that he had there, you know, showing the different uh, starts, U.S. gypsum, uh, U.S. Pot findry, U.S. rubber, U.S. smelting, one of these, U.S. steel. Many of these uh, companies don't, uh, Vandium Corporation, Warner Brothers is still around, Wesson Oil is still around, Western Union is still around. I don't know about Westinghouse anymore. I'm not even sure. But he had all these little graphs that were there. And uh, it was, uh, you know, interesting to see what, uh, yes, they, they traded it in fractions, Tucker, up until 1998. It was quarter, half, quarter, half, quarter, half. It was always that way. And then they came out with the Sos Bandits, Harvey, what, I can't remember that guy's name, Harvey something or other. And they made it go to decimals. And that that uh, that changed the whole thing when that happened. That was a big deal. But let me show you some of the things that were important about what Gartley did. Now, if you'll look at this, this is one of this is on just one of the pictures that I wanted to bring up, and I wanted to show you how far advanced he was. Because if you'll take a look at this, is on uh, this is Figure 13. Out of there's a whole lot of them in there. But you notice the green arrows in there. You notice the familiar A B C D. You know, A is to C is B is to C. The same thing at the bottom there. You see that other A, B, C, D pattern in there. Those were there all the time. So he was always watching those particular things. But there was so much in there that it was really quite amazing. Now, I know a lot of you folks that do Elliott Wave, you know, you do your counts any way you want. But this was, remember, this was done in 35 before Elliot was around, and you can see all the A, B, C, D patterns that were forming and how you made an intermediate top, and then you have the corrective phase and the percentages and stuff like that. I mean, remember, he was way ahead of his time doing this. It was not uh, – this was not something, uh, you know, that you that you saw in everything. But let me let me show you something. This, this is going to really surprise a lot of people. Okay, this next one comes on page 44, all right, really early in the book. All right. Look what he's got here. Look at the green arrow, folks. He's talking about the square roots of the numbers. Look at that. He's talking about arithmetic scale, the square root scale. This was stuff that, uh, you know, I didn't learn from uh, until 1988, the importance of this from Bryce Gilmore. We're going to talk more about this because I think it's, it's relatively important. It is to me, and that's what counts because I got the mic. 877-927-6648. The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, 
the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS Order page at TFNN.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien have just announced a special webinar on June 19th for all subscribers to the TAS Profile Scanner. Steve and Tom will break down the trade matrix, market breadth, heat grid, as well as the three-step process you can use with the TAS Profile Scanner to identify market movers and how to capitalize on that move. For all the details and to get started with the TAS Profile Scanner today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. With a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. Go sign up today. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we're back, folks. I posted a chart, uh, page 116 out of the Gartley book. You'll notice that he has the bottom in the stock market there, 1932, J July the 5th, I believe, uh, is the exact date. Did we get that from, of course, Basil Chapman. Uh, that was the low of the Dow. It was around 41 at that time. You notice that he has a parentheses there. It says the bull market has started 1932 and in parentheses and boys and girls it's still going so he was way way ahead of his time you know doing something like that now this book means a great deal to me and the reason why is uh, it was really a, uh, it had a compilation of so much here's some of the just a few of the names that contributed to some of the technical stuff in this book Richard Schaubacher who is a father-in-law of Edwards of Edwards and McGee W.D. Gann Humphrey Neal Graham and Dodd, the you know the godchild of uh, of Warren Buffett, Van Strom, Robert Ray, Dow Theory, Richard Wyckoff, others, one after another. I mean, there's just so many of them in there. 400 and some pages of just great information. The little things that I picked up through the years were things like the one I'm going to show you next, and that is, you know, basically looking at. Uh, it was July 8th. Thank you very much. Yeah, I, do, I screw that up every time. It, it was July. I thought it was the, you say July 10th? I thought it was the 8th. Well, I thought it was the 5th. Man, I'm really getting old. Anyway, uh, it was around that time. Let's put it that way. But these are the types of things, you know, where the market goes up and, you know, makes new highs and then rolls over, makes new lows and rolls over. We're always looking for that because that's how we find the butterfly patterns and things like that. That's the, the key thing to be uh, to be looking at. So anyway, we want to watch some of those things. That led, that led to uh, the real breakthrough for me, and I'm going to share it with you now. Um, and that was on uh, page uh, 220. Well, let, let me go to page 249 first because 249 – was the uh, the this this was a big big trading system that was sold by uh, Larry Williams and Charles Lindsay called the Trident Method 1974. They sold it at 10 grand a piece for I think it's 400 people, four million bucks, and uh, they uh, moved on. But anyway, this was basically what the what the ABCD ABCD chart looks like. You got ABCD up, ABCD down. I just showed the up channel here, and that's what you're looking at. There was uh, 
uh, you know, that's what it's all about, trying to measure A, B, C, D. But the breakthrough for me uh, with the Gartley stuff happened on page 222 in Gartley's book. I'm going to show you on two pages of this book, what he did was he described how to not try to pick a top, but wait for a top or bottom to come in and then look to buy the retracement. Now, you look at, look at, uh, look at diagram A. You notice how you have a B, C move and then you're a little bit of a pullback there where it says buy? And it's, that was basically a 61% retracement. I've blown this up when I've looked at it, and it's 61% retracement. But look at the difference in figure B. Notice figure B has a small ABCD pattern where it says sell short. You see that right there? He spent two full pages describing that, but he didn't really put the diagram in the way it was being described. And that's where I came up with the number 222 for the Gartley. And that's how it all started. I mean, a lot of people take credit for the Gartley, but maybe they have. I don't know. Maybe they did it before me, but, you know, I was doing this a long time ago. However, that's the ABCD pattern that we look at for the Gartley. The other pattern on the A is just a pullback, which is still a good pattern. But with the ABCD, you've got more ratios, you know, adding to why it's, uh, why it's very, very important. So just keep that in mind. I think it's something that we really need to look at. Now, on page 249 of the book, which we've already looked at, and we've already looked at 222, the final thing that I wanted to show you is uh, how I put this all together, and that is uh, this is a painting that was done by Elsie Darnell. She's a very, she was a very famous. She died in the uh, early, mid mid 80s, but her 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 really thing was flowers and fruits. But she really had, I guess it was a good thing she did something for me. Anyway, they had a uh, uh, she was an oil painting, and this is a four by four oil painting. Uh, it was basically off these little those little parchment things. Those were little cards, three by five cards that I had uh, on a clipboard. Uh, uh, what do you call those eraser boards behind my desk there? and had all those little patterns marked just like that. And her husband came in with a camera when I wasn't there and took a picture of all this and all those risks and all that stuff I got from uh, John Hill. And uh, you'll notice on the left there, you see those gold coins. I was selling cougarans and maple leaves and, uh, so, and uh, Mexican pesos. And so we delivered those. And sometimes I'd have them sitting on my desk. And then you notice I had a ruler there that, Compass was actually a proportional divider, but those were the patterns that uh, I was looking at. Those are the ones that I look at spring reversals. This was long before, long before Gartley, folks. Uh, the Gartley stuff, you know, didn't happen until uh, well, I was in Drexel when that was happened, but I did not push that Gartley pattern. I wrote my first Gartley paper, 1975, for Futures Magazine, but I did not, uh, you know, very. Uh, I did not. Uh, posted very much uh very apparently gartley did the work himself you gotta you gotta do the work yourself anyway that's the whole story behind uh, the gartley thing until the book had not done anything until 1979 and billy jones he was a publisher up in pomeroy washington him and his wife nikki were, were trying to buy the work of wd gann from the lambert family that owned it and he was trying to raise a hundred thousand dollars, so he came down to see me at Drexel. He was looking for ten grand, and he said they wanted to do that. And I said, Billy, I said you can buy that, but what you really ought to do is get the rights from uh, John, uh, Don Mack to do the Gartley book. I said this book is better than anything that I've seen, and I think you could do really good. So in 1981. Lambert Gann came out. He he named his new company Lambert Gann, and uh, he uh, he published the the Gartley book, the full book, 460 bound pages, and it comes with all the free all the charts. There's about 50 or 60 huge charts, wall size almost, and it shows all the different indices that they looked at and all the different stuff. Tremendous. Problem is I don't have those big charts. It's got the basic information is in pages 200 to 250 is where all the charts are. But that's the real, the real uh, skinny on that. And he was able to uh, do. He did buy the Lambert Gann stuff. Uh, it was about one and a half. Uh, moving vans full of GAN stuff, and we went up, and well, Twentyman did. He went up to Pomeroy and looked through the stuff, and nowhere in any of that stuff is the word Fibonacci ever mentioned by W.D. Gann. And believe me, folks, he was a 33rd degree Mason, and he knew that as well as telling you what time of the day it was. That's ingrained in those folks. 
the golden ratio. So he didn't mention it at all. He always talked about five eighths, three eighths, you know, and stuff like that, eight fifths, but he would never talk about the actual Fibonacci numbers. The same is true of Gartley. He didn't he didn't ever mention the Fibonacci number. It was only Elliot himself in nineteen thirty eight that he brought out three eight two and sixty one. When this book came out I sent it to Prector, showing him all the different stuff that you know, would be interesting. I never heard back, which I understand. He's a pretty smart dude. He does everything by himself anyway. But anyway, that's the whole story as I see it. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. What I'm thinking of doing, folks, is people have asked me about stuff like this. If you're interested in... Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, uh, if you like that last segment there, I'll let TFNN know because I'm thinking about doing a... Uh, uh, Rolling Stones uh, <laughs> uh, type uh, thing where we uh, cover the last uh, 50 years of what I've done and what I've seen and things that I think work and don't and why they work and why they don't and some of the people that I've met, the whole Camilla it's going to be a couple hours probably I'm going to do a full webinar on that if you're interested for my subscribers you know, let TFNN know and if we get more than three people interested I'll probably end up 
end up doing it because uh, I'm, uh, you know, I do like to remember these things. I'm losing so many friends these days that it, uh, it does take me down memory lane. I've been so blessed to be able to do this at my age and still have fun doing it. Folks, I, passed, I paste, posted the chart of the Christmas corn. Uh, we're down 27 cents from the high in the midst of the most bullish news that we've had since Hector was a pup. And that dog's 19 years old now. You'll notice that the 382 retracement coming off of the May 12th low. And remember, that was a big lunar event. Uh, I think that was the full moon. Uh, yeah, no, new moon. And uh, But anyway, uh, that comes in at 419. So I'm going to be looking to buy the corn at 420. We're trading at 427 as we speak right now. I don't know where it's opened yet, but I'll be buying it there with about a 10 cent stop. Uh, I think this is the first ABCD pattern that we're going to have. Uh, we'll be down 35 cents uh, from the high. That's two harmonics in corn. Uh, a lot of things there, right? That 382 ABCD. Uh, if you like charts, you got to do this. I mean, this is what. Uh, charts are for mother god and country so pay uh, close attention to that i wanted to bring to your attention if you folks like uh, if you like abcd patterns and whether you believe them or not we, we posted this folks uh, well over three weeks ago this is the chart of the google folks take a look at this we suggested that there was going to be an ABCD pattern after the 382 retracement at 1185. Here we are, $150 lower at 1042. That ABCD pattern was to the exact tick. In other words, from 1290 to uh, I think it was 1025, that was the exact ABCD pattern based on that 382. Now, I don't care if you use moving averages or not. That is something that you ought to pay attention to because that's the harmony in the market. It's geometry. You know, those are the things that you, uh, you know, try to look at. I think it's important to to remember some of those things as you as you look to see them. But that's uh, neither here nor there. Maybe you like it. Maybe you don't. It's just up to you. But those are just some of the things that uh, I think it's important. Now, one other thing that Gartley did that I forgot to to even mention, and I, there's so much in the book I did forget, but take a look at this, folks. Those of you that like moving averages, boys and girls, he had to do these by hand. Are you kidding me? They didn't even have calculators. They had those little, uh, you know, <laughs> well, adding machines. And this is 1935 you're talking about here. Uh, you know, there's your, you know, it looks at the cross of the moving averages, and, you know, he was doing this long before there was a anybody interested in it. So all this stuff is... Uh, the man was a pioneer, no question about it. He was a chain smoker and a heavy drinker, from what Don told me. Uh, lived a very, very full life, but uh, the last part of this uh, of his life he was rather in poor health. But uh, that's uh, neither here nor there. We wanted, we looked at Google. Um, I don't know what that means, uh, Mr. Bill, but uh, I hope it's something good. Uh, we want to. Uh, by the way, folks, the ABCD patterns don't work all the time. You know, sometimes they do, sometimes they work, don't, but, you know, they do more than more than nothing. Anyway, I've had a request to take a look at uh, the Cup of Joe. We're going to take a look at coffee now for Ruby. Now, uh, you'll notice here that we had that big run-up in coffee, and we, we said to look for a 382 retracement down at 9855 we got there yesterday, a big wide range down, seven and a half cents. That's a scare enough to scare the, the bejeebies off anybody, but it stopped right at that 382. And if coffee doesn't fall out of bed from here, it's still got a chance, folks. It, it really has. It's going, to be, uh, it's going to be very, very interesting to see if it's going to hold that level. I don't know where it is, Ruby, but tell me if coffee is up today. If it is, that, that's major support. If not, it's not major support. It's just basically, you know, what we're watching here uh, this morning. Um, uh, back in sugar, I will take a look at sugar, the sweet here. You know, the problem is uh, I don't have it up to date. Let me uh, let me get it up here uh, to see it, see if we're above that 1243 level. I if as long as we're above the 1240, yeah. See the coffee held up right where it should have. It's up three cents from the bottom. The 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 sugar looks like it's heading up to 1280 is what it looks like to me in the October sugar. As long as we stay above 12 dollars a pound, <coughs> excuse me, 12 dollars a pound in the sugar, you know we should be uh, we should be okay. That's what it looks like. Uh, from the uh, the way we look at it, anyway. So let's keep in mind that's what we're watching. 
If you'll remember, folks, uh, when we were talking about the corn last week, and the reason why we were looking at this is in the midst of a, a big, big run-up in corn, you notice that it made that 1.618 expansion from the, the May high. We had the butterfly bottom down on the bottom. I know someone in Chicago that bought the bejeebies out of it there at uh, 369 and got out of it at 450 and is ready to rebuy at 420. So I'm going to be watching it there. You see that line there that says important gap? That's at that 382 retracement. I showed you the the 60-minute uh, chart on that with the ABCD structure coming in. So that's why that one is very, very important today, folks. I don't know if it's going to mean anything or not, but today or tomorrow. And then we got the whole weekend to go through, and we're in the midst of a planning-type disaster. So whether that means anything or not, you know, we don't know. But all I know is that this is a really powerful move, and that's going to be something that's really uh, very interesting to see uh, what's going to uh, what's going to happen? We'll watch it one one day at a time to see uh, what's going on. By the way, folks, uh, my good friend uh, Kelly Henryon and his wife uh, Virginia were laid to rest out in the Pacific Ocean yesterday on a on a yacht. Uh, the family had about 25 people on a very large yacht that they had rented and put the ashes into the uh, into the Pacific. And uh, boy, those of you that visited me in Tucson, almost all of you's got to meet Kelly. He was one of my dearest friends from 29 years, and he's just this great guy. And one of one of my favorite things, he was married 66 years. And I said, Kelly, what's it like, you know, being married 66 years? He said, Larry, he said, it's just like it was 10 minutes. I said, 10 minutes? I said, are you kidding me? He said, yeah, 10 minutes underwater. Uh, that's actually from Rodney Dangerfield, folks. Sorry, I had to bring in a little levity. I can hear the sound of one hand clapping. Oh, my gosh, the vegetables are heading towards the stage. I better get ready to do something else here coming up the break. Boys and girls, remember that we have Shane Smolian all day tomorrow. So get your questions ready. The Wolfman is going to be back, and we're going to be having a, a lot of fun doing that. And I think it's fun. We got one other thing we got to to share with you too from the wizard over there in Naples, Florida. Calls it to the minute Winsky. Uh, he had a really interesting time here that he actually posted in his letter, and it was when the uh, moon actually went into, I believe, Leo exactly at the time on the 5th. That was uh, yesterday. That's when the, the gold topped at 348.90. We'll see. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South 
African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Direction's daily S&P 500 bull and bear leveraged ETFs. Direction leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, I posted a chart here from Mr. Z. He had sent it to me overnight, and this is really an interesting chart. It's the chart of Enron, and it's overlaid over the charts of Tesla. Uh, this has a really high correlation. I uh, don't know what it means, but that's just scary. And not only that, it looks like Tesla's getting ready to rally for a few weeks is what we're expecting in stocks. So you might want to watch this. I was very involved with Enron, uh, living in Tucson. My doctor, who was uh, my internist at the time, his family had owned big, uh, well, they were original people in Portland Cement, which was taken over by uh, by them. And uh, he asked me to look at the stock, and I did. And I told him, I, I said, Dr. B, I said, if this thing goes below 50, I said, you really ought to get out of it. Because he said, well, it's got a lot of great stuff. And I said, all I can tell you is if it gets below 50, there's something really wrong. Well, it went from 50 to zero, and then they wrote the whole thing down. They lost the whole thing of their full a hundred and some years of Portland cement uh, went down the tubes with the whole thing. So remember, folks, sell when you can, not when you have to, in the words of David White. So um, remember, it's not how much you make, it's how much you don't lose. So this is a very interesting chart. Mr. Z, I hope you follow through with this because uh, I don't do anything in stocks, but it's, uh, you know, it's over there. By the way, that that uh, guy's muscle up there. I know several of you have, have asked if that was me, and no, it, it's not. Uh, it uh, has to be somebody else because that's that's a hundred dollar bill, and I on my uh, arm, my muscle like that, I am. I have a Lincoln penny. So let's move on to a couple other things that uh, we really should uh, take a look at. We've been asked by Mr. Z to take a look at natural gas here. And uh, we're going to take a look at that right now, if I can just find it. And I had it all ready to go. Shut the front door. Don't tell me I'm going to start that again. Now, here we go. That's right here. Sorry. Here we are. Eh, don't get upset here. We got it. All right. There we go. Here's natural gas. You'll notice the high we had up there at around 290, roughly. The ABCD structure on this comes down to about the 1.618 at 227. Nine cents from where we are right now. Wouldn't touch this from the long side for two reasons. First reason is the the target's a whole lot lower. The second reason is uh, we're below the 1.27 expansion. This is a major downtrend, so I'd be looking for a little pop on the upside possibly to get short. We had the ABCD structure in May, finishing up on the 20th. Uh, and then, you know, big down, beautiful ABCD pattern in a bear market, right out of page 222 in Gartley's book, just like we posted this morning. In fact, as he's looking at that, all you have to do is to look at page 222. And let me just get this up here to remind you. But, oh, there we go. Just get it up here. You'll be able to see what I just posted in natural gas is the right side there, the B pattern. There's that little ABCD where it says sell short. That's just what we had in natural gas, that exactly same pattern. That's what he talked about on two pages. 
page 221 and 222. More trading systems came out of that Gartley book than any book ever written, as near as I can tell. Wells Wilder had one that was interesting called the uh, reverse point wave. That was a T6 expanding triangle, one, two, three, four, five expanding triangle that he sold to a whole bunch of people that made a lot of money off of it. And there were a whole bunch of others. A lot of moving average systems came out of there. A lot of ideas came out of there. I mean, it's just a great book. 450-some pages of just uh, really terrific stuff. Uh, well, that's basically what we're looking Let's take a look here at another one of these. Uh, I've been asked to take a look at the uh, Facebook stocks because uh, they've had a pretty good bounce here. We're going to be looking at the Amazon right now. Uh, you'll see that we did complete the ABCD pattern just a little below the 382 level. Uh, we're in the midst of a rally mode now, I believe. I, do, I think we're going to have a down day in stocks today. There's just too much resistance up there at that 2840 level. We've been to 2838. In about an hour, if this market's not making a new high, it's going to be uh, it's going to be in trouble. I think just for today, you know, you've had look, hey folks, we're 100 handles higher than we were Sunday night. Give me a break. That's a heck of a move. And the gold, I think the gold, we're having a correction, but you know, you're you're going to have some. Uh, you got to have a correction. We had a $17 correction last night in gold. That's uh, one half the harmonic number. We stopped right at 30. You know, so and then we rallied up. Where did we rally to? Exactly 61% at 1342. That ABCD is going to tell us you're going to get down about $27 to probably around 1310. And the, you're right, Mr. Terry, Platinum is the weak sister. That puppy cannot get out of its way, and I don't know why, but uh, doesn't look very good. Silver's not looking that good either, so it's really, uh, we'll be able to see. Uh, see why July is a buy here. I don't see why I'd be buying natural gas, Mr. Z, but you're one smart cookie, so, and you know how to handle yourself, so when you get into the ring with Muhammad Ali, you got to float like a butterfly, sting like a bee, and you don't want that sting to be too bad. So keep your losses small, and I think you'll be okay. All right, let's move on to the uh, next one that I wanted to talk about, and that is the NASDAQ. Let's do the, you know, here's the NASDAQ here. We'll do the NASDAQ and then I want to do gold. You notice the NASDAQ did go down, make the ABCD pattern, a little below the 382. We should be in a rally mode. We're the third, we're actually the fourth day up. Well, Sunday is really the fifth day up. So we should have a correction here for a day and a half or two and then more up to the upside. Uh, anytime somebody tweets something out of some uh, major capital, anything could change. But right now it still looks pretty good. Uh, that's, uh, that's what I see here. As far as the um, the gold market, uh, let's just take a look at it. We had that big move up. We stopped almost at a double top. I posted this yesterday because uh, we, we went up and touched that top. We missed it by a dollar from the January high, and then we backed off $17. And then, like I mentioned, we rallied up to 61 today, and that brings us down a little bit lower. So keep an eye on it because uh, we're going to get a good chance, another ABCD buy in here. And just like possibly in the gold, uh, or excuse me, in the corn. The corn is a buy at uh, at 420, 421. I'd make sure you don't miss it because I think it's got a real chance. They still haven't been able to plant the corn, but the difference in notes and bonds, Marshall, you devil, you. I don't want to talk about those. Notes and bonds, they have to go up forever. There's negative interest rates coming. I don't believe any of that, but that's the way it goes. But you guys want me to ride in one of, of uh, Mr. O'Brien's yachts? And uh, if it if I do take that ride, I will be in a in a, a little metal container uh, coming directly from the crematorium because I do not like to ride on boats and ships. Ah, anyway, we'll uh, they, they they look lower. I mean, they look look what the notes did, folks. They topped exactly with a big big uh, uh, what do you call that thing? A shooting star pattern. I mean, that's not good. And right up at the 1.618, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Well, we'll put the bonds up for Marshall because we love him so much. Marshall, I'm going to be sending you the uh, video from the uh, uh, ceremony with, with uh, Kelly because I know you got to meet him, and it was really a, a, a very nice video, and I'll send it on to you. But let's get the, uh, get the notes up here. You'll be able to see what it really looks like. This is from the old Wyckoff stuff. And you'll be able to see that three drive pattern that we just completed up here. Maybe it doesn't work, but it's the kind that you you really like to see. You know, that's the kind where you have A, B, C, D expanding to 1.618 and all that stuff. That's the one I got 
tad emotional on last Friday, which I apologize for, but I've been doing this a long time, so what am I going to do? Fact is, when my doctor examined me on Monday, he said, I don't know how you can do what you do with the blood pressure of someone who's, uh, you know, 25 years old. But uh, so I said, it matches my IQ, 95. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Basil Chapman has a special subscriber webinar coming up Wednesday, June 12th at 5 p.m. called The Tide. In this webinar, Basil will be demonstrating techniques that can help one identify whether the tide is coming in or going out. That is, whether a trend is bullish or bearish in a variety of time frames. And Basil will be speaking specifically to indices, currencies, commodities, interest rates, and key stocks. The technical tools that Basil will be discussing are available on almost all software packages that will be shown in historical context as well as live for current market setups. Identifying the key trend allows one to trade with the tide rather than against it. Subscribers also gain immediate access to three archived workshops so you can get started right away when you sign up. For all the details on the opening call and Basil's upcoming subscriber webinar, The Tide, this coming Wednesday, visit the front page page of tfnn.com and sign up today this segment is brought to you by think or swim for more information just click the think or swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com <clears throat> okay we're back folks and uh, i wanted to remind you tomorrow try not to miss tomorrow's show because shane smolian the wolf man is going to wolf trader will be with us he's got some great stuff uh he and i uh, co-authored the book on astrology basically he did all the work and all i did was sort of tell him open this page and go for it uh, with the help of alfie lavoy and a whole bunch of other people he knew exactly what he was doing he was a experienced astrologer when I first met him, and I was really blessed when uh, he came into my life. What a fine young man he is. He's got an incredible family, and I'll uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing him. Hopefully, we'll have him on as a regular guest because his thing with the Fed juice has really been great. And he's been showing me, you know, where the Fed has made some mistakes here recently, and it's just amazing how it's all lined up. So we'll have Shane on tomorrow. Uh, and also remember, today is uh, D-Day. Try to be. Uh, Remember someone today for the uh, uh, veterans because, you know, we'd all be speaking German if it weren't for them. Very, very important to 
pay attention to that. Uh, regarding the euro, I still think the euro is going to go higher, i.e. dollar lower, but we're in the midst now where we could get a little bit of a bounce here uh, you know, in the U.S. dollar index, but not much, I don't believe. That's what it looks like. The British pound is trying to hold up. The Australian dollar is still doing nicely, but uh, the rest of them, the Japanese yen needs to get down one more time to that 107.40 level, and I believe that would really be a good buying opportunity. Folks, watch 10.30 in the morning because if we start making lows in the stock market after 10.30 in the morning, that means we're going to have a down day, roughly. I mean, that's just a uh, minor prediction, as you might guess, but uh, that's what we're you know, sort of paying a, uh, paying a little bit of attention to. So that'll be a really uh, interesting one you know, to uh, to watch. So tomorrow we'll have uh, the Shane on at the, for the whole whole time frame from, from about five after the hour all the way to the very end. Have your questions ready, and he's going to have some great material like he always does for us. So we'll have him on tomorrow. So remember, live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 